What's up C squad? I am back here with another vlog. Today let's see the way of installing tiles onto a staircase. Guys, if you are new here, my name is C and you guys are the C squad. If you want to join the family, click on the subscribe button down below. Things that you are going to use are these. Other than these, you can also use uh, 2 into 4 lumber for leveling, floor spacers, tape, tile nippers and pencils. Then we need to make the motor mixture that we are going to use. I already uploaded two vlogs about the way of making motor mixture with cement powder and polymodified motor mix. Links to those videos are down there in the description. Uh, here we are using a polymodified motor mix. These are the tiles that we are going to use. First of all, uh, you need to clean the floor as you can see in this video. The floor must be free from dust and dirt. If it's not, it will affect the level of the tiling surface. Then you need to add some water to the floor and make the floor wet before tiling. Here initially we are going to install tiles onto the horizontal surface of the stairway. First measure the length and width of the horizontal surface of one step and cut the tile according to that. Here we are using a manual tile cutter to cut tiles. Then cut the tile and place it onto the horizontal surface and check whether it aligns well with the uh, tile on the vertical surface. Actually, you need a little bit. You actually you need a little bit more than the width of the uh, horizontal surface and it will be covered by the tile on the vertical surface. Then you can cut other tiles also to uh, the same measurements. Remember to do this uh, lengths and widths of the uh, all the steps of the staircase must be same otherwise uh, you need to measure each, each one separately and cut the tiles. Then you can start tiling. Here we are going. Here we are going to install tiles onto the landing first, and uh, tiling towards the ground floor and then towards the first floor from the landing. Use your notch trowel and, and scoop out generous amount of mortar from the bucket and spread thin set uh, with the trowel. You need to comb the thin set using the notch side of the trowel by holding it at an angle, uh, 45 degrees to the floor and. Lightly move in the trowel uh, teeth towards the floor. Then place the tile on the thin set and use a rubber mallet to press it towards the floor. Then place the second tile on the thin set and hammer it uh, with a rubber mallet and get the edges of the tile along the first tile. Here initially we are only tiling the area of the landing uh, which is near to the step. Like that uh, work your way towards the ground floor. Make sure you comb the thin set in one direction and avoid uh, circular and swirling patterns. Before you purchase tiles, uh, you need to measure the length and width, width of the steps and the landing. 
and buy your tiles according to that when buying tiles for st for the staircase uh, choose tiles with a uh, rough or tested finish you should not buy glossy uh, tiles for the staircase because uh, they can be slippery and even wet always try to buy a uh, good quality tiles to cut tiles uh, you can use a manual tile cutter or a wet tile saw I already uploaded uh, a complete vlog about the way of using these equipments and you can get uh, links to that video at the description. You can also use uh, tile nippers to cut tiles when it comes to the corners especially uh, round corners. If you are using uh, porcelain tiles always use uh, poly modified thin set to achieve the appropriate bond between tile and the surface. Here we are not using any spacers because the tile edges are slightly curved. If you are using spacers, place the two spacers along the side where you add a tile. Use two spacers at one at, uh, one at each end. Spacers are used to uh, easily and quickly ensure equal spacing between tiles. Always follow the techniques you see in this video. The way of handling rubber mallet is very important. You can use a rubber mallet to align the edges and corners of the tiles and uh, hinging it down and slightly twisting it back and forth. So always follow the techniques you see in this video and it will make your work more easy. You can also use a small thin trowel to remove small amounts of thin set at the edges of your tile as you go. Don't allow the thin set to skim over or start drying as you go. If it does, uh, remove it and uh, apply new thin set. As you lay your tiles, uh, always check them for uh, dirt and dust. Wipe them clean if needed. Uh, the dust can affect how effectively the tiles adhere to the mortar. Throughout the process, uh, use a damp sponge to clean off any mortar that ends up on uh, top of the tiles. If you need to take a break, uh, always escape up any uh, mortar overlapping into the area you are about to tile. Guys, uh, travels that we are using have both a smooth edge and a notch, notch edge. The notches uh, are called teeth. The size of the notch, notch determines how much thin, thin set is left on the floor uh, receiving the, the tile. For larger tiles, uh, you need to use a larger notch travel. When installing tiles, be sure to wear safety glasses, rubber gloves, especially when mixing and applying mortar. Always uh, consider wearing knee pads to evenly distribute your body weight and save your knees, especially when you are tiling the horizontal surfaces. After you finish tiling the steps, uh, you can install tiles onto the landing. After you finish tiling the landing, uh, you can start tiling uh, from landing to the first floor. When you are taking tiles out, to, out from the boxes, don't uh, just use them. Pull tiles from different boxes and mix them 
Sometimes uh, slight tonal differences can occur between uh, different boxes of tiles. By mixing them, we can spread them uh, throughout the floor uh, without being noticing. After you finish tiling the horizontal surface, uh, you can install tiles onto the vertical surface. First of all, uh, you need to measure the height between two horizontal tiles and cut the vertical tiles according to that. Remember the edge of the vertical tile must covered from the horizontal tile. Then with the manual tile cutter cut tiles uh, for the vertical surface and after that, and after that uh, you can start tiling the, uh, tiling the uh, vertical surface. Take some thin set mortar onto the trowel and apply it onto the back side of the tile and, the, and, and then install the tile onto the vertical surface. You need to hammer it with the with, uh, rubber mallet be sure to line up the joints of uh, vertical and horizontal ties for a continuous look you can use a big brick towel uh, when applying a uh, mortar onto the back side of the tile Then continue installing tiles as you can see in this video. Guys, uh, hammering is very important. Always uh, try to use rubber mallet uh, as that uh, we are using in this video. Always follow the techniques you seeing in this video because uh, it will make your work more easy. You can also use a mortar mixture made up of cement powder uh, when tiling a staircase. Porcelain floor tiles must always be installed using a polymodified thin set to achieve the appropriate bond between tiles as I mentioned earlier. So if you are using uh, porcelain tiles uh, make sure to use uh, polymodified thin set. After installing tiles onto the vertical surface, uh, you can install tiles on the wall uh, which serves as a baseboard. You need to cut the tiles for the baseboard uh, having a breadth of uh, 3 inches or more and length according to the uh, tiling pattern you choose. You can cut the tiles according to the way you see in this video and you, can, you need to cut them separately for both uh, horizontal and vertical surfaces.
not only this pattern you can choose uh, any pattern uh, actually it's uh, your choice after that you can install start installing tiles always follow the techniques you seeing in this video and it will work it will work it will uh, make your work more easy When all the tile work is complete, allow the tiles to dry in place for several days, at least for one day uh, before uh, grouting, especially if you are using uh, spacers. After that, you can start applying grout onto the tiles. I already uploaded the in detail vlog about the way of ap uh, applying grout onto the tiles. Uh, I will also add a link to that video at the description. First of all you need to dissolve the grout with water according to the instructions given in the packet and get the consist consistency that can easily spread with a grout cloth. Uh, the mix should be uh, not too thick and uh, not too thin. Uh, grout is available in variety of textures and colors. You need to select a one matches the color of the tile. Then mix the grout in uh, required areas. Then you need to apply grout in required areas, especially in edges and corners with a rubber grout float or, or grout sponge or a piece of rubber if you don't have a float. Apply at 45 degree angle to the space between the tiles to prevent float from pressing uh, into the spaces. Then remove excess grout with a grout float or a piece of cloth. As soon as you complete one section, take a damp sponge and make uh, light passes across the tile diagonally to clean off excess grout. Then slowly cure the grout by uh, misting it twice a day for 3 days. Uh, do not walk over grout surface for 8 to 12 hours. Uh, you will get a uh, final color after 24 hours. You can also use grout, uh, grout sealers if you need. Finally, you will get a finish like this. After grouting spacers, you need to cover the upper edge of the baseboard uh, with grout. You need to make a semi-solidified mixture and apply it using a grout float or a joint knife. Finally, uh, after you finish grouting, you will get a surface like this. Guys, uh, that's it for the today's vlog. Keep subscribing, keep commenting and keep liking the videos. Have a nice day. Be kind to one another. See you soon.